Okay, let's watch what Sensei Rebecca is performing here on this method. Uh, the method is named by Yiko uh, Shubi, that means the defense of the oneself. In this case, I will be an attacker, an assaultant, that I will try to, uh, to threaten a woman. In this case, I will try to hold from the lapel as, I uh, as if I try to rape. She's holding here a bladed weapon, like a tanto, a knife here. And the study here, let's watch carefully what is happening with very, very smooth movements. Let's watch what is happening. When she draws the tanto, the knife here, she will be placing the blade here in the inside of my, of my wrist. As you could see here, we have the veins, we have the, the nerves on the inside. It's a very weak area. After here, she will be uh, pushing my hands down in order to have the control here to uh, thrust, to stop on, uh, on the middle, um, among my ribs, here in order to access the internal organs. After that, she will be cutting on the inside of my shoulder here. We have the tendons concerning the, the chest muscles. And after that, she will be pursing on the uh, Subclavia here on the artery, and it's very powerful uh, stuff that, of course, that will drain all my force. Let's watch a second technique. In this case, uh... okay. In this case, I will perform him kind of shimmy, holding, taking here, as I try to choke on this point, it's a very powerful and this of course that could drain and could knock out Opano, in this case a woman that it's being attacked, it could be victim. Right now she draws the knife, the blade, the weapon and it's getting into my femoral area, piercing up and uh, coming back and cutting and pursing one more time in order to reach all the uh, access, not only cutting the muscles that uh, will cause instability to me, but of course it's a very uh, lethal area of the body. After that, she could cut my groin up and after that of course I will be losing balance after the several strikes and pursts. After that, she is chaining the, the knife in the position and right now is pursing like in the pre old sequence in the, between my ribs to access internal organs and finally she tries again and, and, and ends the, the sequence of, of stuff. Let's watch uh, another another attack, another sequence right now. Okay. What I'm trying here, it's when I, if I, in the same case, if I try to, to rape the attacker coming from the back or from the inside by hugging completely in order to avoid Right now, she draws the blade and purse on my hand, trying to lose my, lose my, my rub, my height here. This is very painful. After here, she has the conditions to escape, to get away from the height. Then after that, uh, slides the blade to cut. And after that, she is pursing also in the inside. Uh, to reach the internal organs in the thorax, piercing the subclavia and going again in order to cut the, the femoral area of the, of the groin. One more attack right now. Okay. In this case, first I will grab the 
so that I will wrap the, the sleeve here in order to protect from any reaction and I am trying to help here in order to take, uh, take her to the ground or whatever she will draw here the knife that is hidden called cut or pierce the back of the hand, my left hand that is uh, restraining uh, her arm after that she will face me and she will pierce in the thorax and also in subclavia cutting the inside of the arm and cutting again close to the to the uh, to the jugular or also to the the arteries here on the neck after that of course I will be retreating and she will pierce the, the ribs on this point and also cutting the tendons, cutting the muscles that make me to hold or to grab hair in any circumstance. Then this uh, basic explanation of how this method has been developed and taught to the woman of our school as a way to self-defense in a rich situation. I hope that you have enjoyed it. great performance for Sensei Rebecca. See you on next video. Thank you very much for following our channel. Bye.